this fight. Right, I'm Tommy Park. I'm here with MMA Talk London Cage Fighters.com with Linton Vassell. Mate, nice win there. Zell came in fully charged up like he was going to run right through you. Took him down. Even though you were pummeling his face, I've seen the state of his face. It was atrocious when he came out. I feel sorry for the guy. But you seem to be quite merciful for, towards the end as well when you were hitting him in the face as well. It's sort of like you were pausing, waiting for him to... No, that's, that's just the way I fight. I don't, it was a point of throwing all punches, hitting his arm. You're going to gash yourself up, you know, the ref, ref might not stop it. Next round and your, your arm's all tired, so I picked my shots. And obviously I picked them nicely, because look at him now. Yeah, yeah. But now he come out, keep me in the mouth, cut my lip up, weren't happy with that, so... I just egg you on, did it? Yeah, egged me on to take him down, you know what I mean? Put everything into it, took him down, and then ended up still still, still the champ. So what have you been doing to prepare for this, then? Everything, St um, strength conditioning, been um, sparring, wrestling, every, everything possible, you know. Been yeah. training all over Christmas, yeah. so now I can actually go and... And, you know, have some go as you sort of expected it, mate. Yeah, if I've got a fight coming up, everything goes to a side, you know, and 100% training, so. So where's your gym coming from? Where are you gym coming from? Immortal. Immortal gym? Yeah, Immortal in Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes. Yeah. All right, mate. Trainer, want to say anything? Where you got your trainer? Yeah, my trainer wants to come. come. It's the owner of Immortal. The owner Darren of Immortal. Ward. Tell us a bit about my man, how he is he in the gym and what's your gym? Yeah, he just works so hard all the time. He's so hungry to get this done and get up to that next level. Um, we didn't want to strike with the guy too much, but we stood we stood toe to toe with him to start off with. Yeah. Took his few shots, and then when the time was right, took him down. When this guy gets on top of anybody, I don't care who it is, they're not getting back up. Yeah. They're never ever getting back up. Yeah, you seem to press him right down there, mate. What was going through your head towards the end there when you were, were pummeling him? You didn't think it was going to go the other way at all? No, I just thought I'd keep punching him. The ref was, I was coming in saying, obviously, Zell, defend yourself. And that was my cue to obviously lay a few more punches down, a bit more harder obviously for the stoppage. It, it was game, we weren't going to give up. I knew that, we weren't going to tap out the strikes. So obviously I had to just, you know, sort of you know, lay my stamp down and just lay some more punches down. Excellent. But Anything for the future, anyone in sight in particular? No, nah, up the champ, innit? So, champ, champ don't call no one out. Who do you want to come and challenge you though? Whoever, man, <laughs> whoever, whoever's next in line, innit? So yeah, <laughs> as matter. I said, it doesn't matter, you know. All challenges welcome, so. We have to okay. give credit to Zell for not tapping to the arm triangle. That yeah. was in deep. Yeah. You have to give him credit. So it showed a lot of heart yeah. to not tap there. Yeah. Anything to say out to the young budding fighters out there as well? Young ones? The young ones just keep training, you know what I'm saying? Obviously one day you might want to challenge me, but I just say, you know, all, all challenge welcome. So whoever Dave's got, I'll fight. So. Appreciate you taking the time to talk yeah, to us, mate. Anytime. Thank you very much. Cheers. Pleasure meeting you as well. Thank you. Take care, mate. Like Thank you very much. Dynamite Dale as well, yeah? He knows who he is, Dynamite Dale. There you go, Dynamite Dale.